some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have Jim City News as he attempts to visit Frauditor Craig in jail. However, there's a huge goof up on the part of Jim City News. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You're on. Okay, Jim Fam. We're in Bloomfield, Indiana at the Greene County Correctional Center. We're going in here to see Craig, put some money on his books. Uh, couldn't do it online. Uh, I, I have a copy of that, a snip and sketch. I'll show it to you why. They said I could come here. I guess I got to get some money. No, this is not the goof up I was talking about. The one that's coming up is a major one. Oh, and by the way... The title of his original video was Denied Visitation at Greene County Jail. But as we shall soon see, he was not denied. It was something else. Something major. <laughs> Put some money on his books. Apparently there's one kiosk for his, his commissary account. In case he needs a cup of noodles or some shampoo, you know, he's got all that curly hair. And then there's another one so that he can call somebody during Christmas. So I'm going to go in here, see if I can visit him. Uh, I don't know what the rules are. I don't know if they're going to throw a fit. We're not really auditing this place or anything. We're, uh, we're here to do a visit with some money on the books. Hey, Tom, I'm pretty sure it's okay. Hello. I was wanting to use your kiosk. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. I drove three hours. I figure I might as well. Okay. Okay, then I guess I goofed up. Sorry. Yep. Way it goes. Well, thank you very much. Merry Christmas, Miss. Okay, and there you have it. 24 hours in advance for visitation. I wish I would have known that. I would have tried to do something. It seemed like it's a long drive just to not be able to visit him, and it's Christmas time. I mean, how, how rank is that? Well, gee, I wonder how you could have prevented that. I got an idea. You know that camera that you're always toting around? It does serve multiple purposes. Its original purpose was as a cell phone, a communication 
device. You could have used that and called the police department to find out the specifics of visitation for particular prisoners. That could have saved you a whole lot of gas money on a wasted trip. Okay, well, uh, I don't see anybody chasing us down because we did public records request. Apparently they revoked his bond. Make him sit in jail. Don't give him a bond. I don't know. Okay, well, think for yourself. Question authority. Stay out of places like this. It's a wrap. That's some good advice right there to stay out of places like that. But you also forgot the six P's. Proper planning prevents piss poor performance. And in your case, you didn't even do the bare necessities of simply calling ahead.